it's time for a Vanguard Stocks and Shares ISA portfolio update. I do these throughout the year. This is my third one, and it'll probably be my last one until later on in the year now. So yeah, I'm gonna go through my investments, how much I've got, the funds that I use, all of that stuff. We're gonna go onto my Vanguard account. I'm gonna show you where I've been buying over time, how much I'm investing per month, and be as open and as transparent as possible. <laughs> So yeah, stick around to the end of the video. If you have got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I can try and help you out. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's get roll into the new. My name is Ryan and this is Making Money Simple. Welcome back to another video. This one's gonna be a Vanguard portfolio update. I'm across all the different social medias. So feel free to drop me a follow on any platforms you're on, as well as of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel and turning on the notification bell so you never miss a video. All the links are in the description, including my products book recommendations and so on. So you can find that all down below. But without further ado, let's get straight into the portfolio update. And the first thing, the headline number, what is the current value of my stocks and shares ISA with Vanguard? Well, it's 12,783 pounds. Here comes the money. I just looked back actually at my previous video and it looks like I had three months ago, 8,000 418 pound. So that's increased by about four and a half K. So I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest with you. That's pretty good. And there's also been one change, which I should mention. In that last video, I did have a very small amount of money in an emerging markets fund that has now been sold. And as you can see, I've got 100% of my portfolio, of course, in the FTSE Global All Cap, which is a global index fund. And I'll give a few more details on that soon. So of course, all of the money is in my stocks and shares ISA. I used to use a general investment account when I first started investing. Not anymore. All of my money is in the ISA. If I then click into my investment, you can see my cost is just over 11K. My current market value is just below 13K. So the change or the gain over that time is 1,600 pounds. Something which is pretty cool, if you then click into the fund, you can see what I've been buying over time. So the current cost of the fund is 172 pound per unit. My average unit cost is 151 pound. So that's where the gain has been made. But now we zoom out of this graph three years, you can see where I started investing. Oh, look at that. Look at that investment there. 17th of March, 2020, when the COVID crash happened and I bought right at the bottom. Oh yes. Sometimes my genius is it's almost frightening. That's pretty lucky. But yeah, essentially from my very first investment in August 2019, all the way now up until today, you can see all the green dots of essentially where I've been buying over time. And you can really see as well, particularly in 2021, there's a lot of green dots very close together because I'm essentially trying to invest as much as possible. My automatic monthly investment, I've now up to 500 pounds. That originally was 100 pound when I first started. I then increased it to I think 250 pounds. It's now at 500 pound per month. Hopefully going forward, I can one day get that to a four figure investment per month. But it's currently 500 pound per month and I've also been making the occasional lump sum investment. Now in Vanguard, the minimum is 100 pound per month or a 500 pound lump sum. So of course, I've got 500 pound per month, but the lump sum is 500 pounds. So it's a fairly decent chunk you need to save up in order to make a lump sum investment. But essentially through saving a bit of money on my monthly budgets uh, and also monetizing my side hustle more recently, I've been able to make a few lump sum investments, which has been really good to essentially increase the value and the contributions in my stocks and shares ISA. Call an ambulance! but not for me. When it comes to investing, especially early on, I'm still a relatively new investor. I've only been investing for four years in total and three years through my Vanguard Stocks and Shares ISA. The most important thing are the contributions. The more we can contribute today, the more our money's gonna grow and compound over the long term, and the more we're gonna end up with, which is why it's important to start early, but that really is why I almost, I literally do not care about the price that I'm buying at. Whenever I have enough money, I'm just trying to chuck more and more into my stocks and shares DICER because I know in 10, 20, 30 years time, I'm gonna be laughing as this money grows and compounds. Ching, ching, bling, bling. Also pretty cool actually down here, you can see past performance. So people often ask me, um, you know, what return can I expect? Well, I here have clearly got 9%, then 8%, then 4%, then 25%. A couple of things this shows, First of all, the stock market returns are not linear. Even though we're making compounding projections, I'll use seven or 8% usually, as you can see, it doesn't go up in a straight line and there are some better and worse years, but yet to experience a negative return. And that really is just because this bull market, even with COVID, is continuing to storm on. But of course, yeah, the stock market does correct. The stock market does crash. 
but that's completely normal. And if anything, those are actually the best times to invest. But saying that, it's impossible to time the market, which is why, as I mentioned, I have my monthly investment, which I'll be increasing as my salary increases, but also my lump sum investments. When I do get to that magical 500 pounds, I'll then lump sum another 500 pounds into my Vanguard stocks and shares ISA. So I've spoken about this before, but let me quickly touch on the FTSE Global All Cap in case you're unfamiliar. It's essentially a global index fund that is globally diversified. It is, as you can see, over 7,000 stocks and a fee of 0.23% per year. The thing that I love about the FTSE Global All Cap is it's pretty much as diversified as it can get. It's got large, medium, and small size companies. It invests all around the world. It's 55% US stocks. 4% UK stocks, and that is because the US stock market makes up around 55% of the global stock market, and the UK around 4% of the global stock market. So in that sense, it's sort of efficient. It's also an accumulation fund. Accumulation meaning all of the dividends are automatically reinvested. That once again really fits in my passive hands-off um, preference because I don't really want to be logging into my account. I want to be as hands off as possible. So because it's an accumulation fund, all of my dividends are reinvested automatically. And that's really all there is to say on this fund. I've done a deep dive into the FTSE Global All Cap and also the FTSE All World, which I'll put somewhere along the top if you want to watch that video. But it's got 7,000 stocks. As I mentioned, it's here for £100 per month or £500 lump sum minimum investment. Uh, the distribution, or essentially the dividend, is currently 1.3%. Of course, I never see that because all my money is being reinvested back into the fund. And my approach is just going to be to continue investing monthly into this fund. When I get a salary increase, I'm going to be up in my monthly contributions. If I'm able to get up to £500, I'll be lump summing more into this fund, regardless of the price. And that is it. It's buy and hold. It's passive. Ignore the noise, hands off, long term, low maintenance, low stress investing using global index funds. Write that down, write that down. And to honest with you, that pretty much wraps up this Vanguard portfolio update. My investment strategy and approach isn't very exciting, it's very boring, very simple, very hands off, very automated. But I will show you one more thing, and it's on this insights tab in my investments, which is quite handy to see. Now this is probably very useful if you're investing in multiple funds, because you can see if you're accidentally overweight any specific countries. Of course, I'm only in one fund, the FTSE Global All Cap, but we can still see it's 100% equity. I'm then around 60% in North America, 55% of which is the USA, 4% UK, 12% Europe. It's pretty cool to see where your money is actually being distributed, and you can and also see really how much America or North America dominates the global stock market. We can then see the top 10 investments. So once again, it's quite interesting. So every 500 pound that I invest per month, 15 pound of that, if I'm not mistaken, and my quick maths is correct, five times three, 15, quick maths. Quick maths. 15 pound of every 500 pound investment is flowing into Apple, pretty much 15 pound is going into Microsoft and so on and so forth. You can see a lot of the money that has been invested into these global funds is flowing into these companies, making them even bigger. You then got the sector allocation, um, and yeah, that's just some more interesting stuff to see. As I mentioned, if you've got loads of funds, that's probably pretty cool to look at, but probably a good place to wrap up this Vanguard portfolio update. Of course, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If your strategy or approach is different, let me know. Always interesting to hear other people's approaches and also learn off each other. So let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be more videos coming. And yeah, that wraps up this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.